T H A N K S. Oh, hey everybody. I was just writing thanks on this card to my neighbor, Miss Eliza. She always helps me and my family. Last week, she brought over this yummy spaghetti dinner for us. It was delicious. It was so nice of Eliza to help us. So I thought I'd send her a thank you card. Uh, and Mr. Skyler, the handyman in my neighborhood. He fixed our basketball goal so I can keep shooting hoops. That was so nice of him. I'll send him a thank you card too. Oh, and then there's Mr. Jacob from down the street. I was running in the neighborhood and I tripped right in front of his house. He came out and gave me a bandage and helped me home. I really want to write him a thank you card too. This is going to take me a while and I might need some more cards. I'll be back just in a minute. Our true Bible story begins with a city wall, a very, very big wall that went all the way around the city of Jerusalem. The wall was there to keep people safe, sort of like the walls of your house are wrapped all the way around you. The wall around Jerusalem had been there a long time and it was really old. There were so many holes in it that it didn't keep the people safe anymore. It had to be fixed. Thankfully, there is a man named Nehemiah. What was his name? Nehemiah. Nehemiah used to live in Jerusalem, and when he heard about the wall and all the holes, it made him very sad. Everyone, show me your sad face. Oh yeah, so sad, just like Nehemiah. Well, Nehemiah wanted to do something about the broken wall, so he decided to fix it himself. But he was just one person, and the wall, well, it was big, like big, big. Nehemiah couldn't fix it all by himself. He needed some help. On the count of three, everyone yell, help. Are you ready? One, two, three, help. Guess what? Lots of people came to help him fix the wall. They all got to work on different parts. So go ahead, friends, gather around part of the wall and help fix it up, just like this. Let's chisel a little bit. Now help me stack some stones. Some people fixed gates and some people fixed towers. They all worked together to get it fixed so it would be strong and safe. There were lots of people, just like there are lots of you, and everyone helped. Great job, everyone. The people worked and worked and worked until one day, guess what? They worked really hard until one day the wall was finished. Everyone helped celebrate and say, hooray, hooray. Nehemiah was thankful that God had given him people to help him fix the city's walls. God gave people to help us because God is good. Who is good? God is good. That's the truth. God is good. Let's pray. Dear God, Thank you for all the people who help us. So many people helped Nehemiah rebuild the wall and lots of people help us each day too. We know you give us people to help us because you are good always. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Wow, didn't you love that true story? I love that God gave Nehemiah people to help him finish the city wall. God is good. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, I did. I did. <laughs> me too. People help Nehemiah just like my neighbors helped me. I'm so thankful for them. Hey, I know. I can put my neighbors' names in my phone so I can remember all the things I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for Miss Eliza and my handyman neighbor who fixes everything. Uh, that's Mr. Skyler uh, and Mr. Jacob down the street. Well, I've got a lot of people to be thankful for. And I bet you do too. We'll see you next time.